ladies and gentlemen, mad scientists and others. We are about to show through witnesses, deposition, and a series of still frames that the producers of this film, Attack of the Eye Creatures, just did not care. Exhibit one, please, Cambot. Cambot, cue that up, thank you. Yes, the night the light intolerant eye creatures spearheaded their bone chilling assault on Earth was actually quite a lovely day. In fact, you couldn't have picked a nicer day to film a night sequence. Just after midnight or high noon, you decide. You see, they just didn't care. Gambot, next please. The eye creatures, scabby, inflexible, lethargic, mucus expelling creatures having no spoken language and no particular powers with which to conquer. They were also unfortunate enough to have evolved with heavy duty zippers running up their backs. This frame is a clear indication that they just didn't care. Cambot, thank you. Some eye creatures are born with scaly protective coverings. Others are born with hundreds of eyes protruding from fleshy knobs. Still others, like this whisper thin fellow, are born with tight acrylic wool blend turtleneck sweaters from Chess King. Folks, they just didn't care. Next, please, thank you. Take a look at this guy. Go ahead. Take a good, long look. You see, they just didn't care. And but, thank you. If you're ever in a fight with an eye creature, keep in mind that his head is simply draped casually over his shoulders and should be no trouble to knock off. Failing that, eye creature tend to be most vulnerable in their union suit area, illustrated here. Get ready to give chase to an injured eye creature, as you can see, is wearing his Jack Purcell athletic shoes. Folks, they just did not care. The lubricious serial killer in the multicolored sheath dress. The Alan Sherman wannabe in the leopard skin robe. The unexplained shot of Gertrude Stein examples all that. They, they just, just didn't care. care. We rest our case. What do you think, sirs? They did too care. In fact, we've got director Larry Buchanan here with us, don't we, Frank? Yeah. Hey, Larry, come here. Come here. Larry, tell them. Tell these people. Tell them how you took your dream, your vision. And through blood, sweat, and effort, you own that dream and turn it into a reality through year, well, days of hard work, determination, struggle. You took that cherished dream that you had and you... You don't really care, do you? Push the button, Frank.